So today we're going to talk very briefly about tying out your sheep and goats. If you're not going to be home to watch them or around very close to watch them, do not tie them out at all. Uh, it's very, very dangerous tying out. They can get tangled on even the little blade of grass, um, wound round and round, and we've had some that almost expired. Um, so if you're going to have them out, you need to watch them. Um, second thing is, is don't tie them like to a tie down or to a tree or to a bush. This is actually the best way we've found an old tire. Make sure it's heavy enough that they can't drag it far. Have them a uh, friend nearby or tied on. These guys are tied on with kind of a coupler so they can't get tangled together. Uh, if you're going to tie out animals that have never been tied out, basically don't tie them out long and watch them really, really, really close um, because they panic. So this, the other thing is, is if you're going to tie them out, it's all right, Abigail, what have I got? Something scary, huh? You're all right. Come here, babe. Now we're all skittish. Come here, babe. All right, we'll show on this one. If you're going to tie them out, use a snap collar in case they do get in trouble. This is not a cheap one from the dollar store. This is a good quality snap collar. Uh, this way you can untie fast. Uh, if you don't have a um, clip, you, you can tie a rope to it or whatever, but tie it to the D-ring on the collar because I've tied it to the actual collar. And then as they're grazing, they, and this is moving around, they sometimes will the collar will twist and twist again. And then you have a, a danger of, of getting killed. But many, many goats have died by strangulation uh, on a tie out. So be very, very careful doing it. But if you do it right, it can be very useful these guys have been working up here for a half an hour mowing the lawn for me. They get other food, they get hay and grain as well, but they sheep mentally need to graze. So, and, and I need my lawn mode. So I put them out and I give them an X amount of time. You don't want to put them out when uh, there's too much dew on the grass because um, they can get frothy bloat. Um, you don't want to leave them there too long or gra graze them until the grass is too short because they can damage their teeth. Um, but you want to, and graze can take 45 days to recover. So I, I take them and I put them in a small area for about 40 minutes a day or whatever. Uh, and then I move the tire another, you know, length of the lead and then let them work another area. And this way you can, they're mobile. They're pretty safe, but you still want to watch them. And also be aware that when they're tied out, um, don't tie them out when the weather is poor or, or going to turn poor. Keep an eye on the, uh, the weather eye on the horizon. You don't want to put them out when it's going to rain. Um, you want them to have access to shelter uh, during times when it's going to rain. And you want to be careful of predators because that's the prime time they can't get away from the predator and they're tied and then you end up in trouble. This has been tying out your sheep and goats safely.